Just got through working out. I just wanted to hit you with this because there's some information I wanted to give you. But um, I finally got on a regimen and I feel real good about it. Consistency is the name of the game. Working out every day now. Started juicing. I've had people always telling me about juicing and, you know, I had a hard time <laughs> getting it, grasping it in my mind. But it's not so bad if you put the right stuff in it. So I'm, I'm real proud of myself for that. Got to get healthy and lose some weight. Uh, but that's not why I sent you this video email. The reason I sent you this is because it's time for me to just get this off my chest. Listen, whether whoever you are, if you are a friend of mine, family member, loved one, um, associate, co-worker, business partner, past business partner, maybe you know me as Dr. Belt, uh, Dr. Roslyn, Roslyn, some of you still call me Dr. Shaw, you know, whatever it is, listen to what I got to say and take it for whatever it's worth. I found out with my own self, uh, I've got life insurance, but I found out I didn't have living benefits. Now, if I say that to you and you say, well, what, what are living benefits? That means you don't have them either. And the reason I'm sending you this is not for you to get them from me, because I, you know, I'm insured now, uh, uh, excuse me, I'm licensed now for, for almost everything. Um, but I want you to just pick up your policy and look at it because if you don't have living benefits it means you have the old and not the new that means you're waiting to die for somebody else to use them and life insurance should be for something more than just death okay case in point about seven out of ten people and we all know people who have had either a heart attack a stroke or maybe had cancer and they didn't die they lived through it but here's the problem with that Yes, they lived through it. God gave them a miracle. Whatever the case was, God definitely stepped in for them. But when you go through those kinds of sicknesses in your life, the first thing that gets hit are your finances. Because you're out of work. Not only are you out of work, but sometimes people that are, uh, your loved ones have to take off for weeks and months at a time to help take care of you. The benefit of living benefits is that you can get money from your policy while you're going through whatever you're going through, the recovery process. And see, it's a good thing not to be stressed out about money. How are you gonna pay the bills? Is the house note still gonna be taken care of while you're recovering? You're gonna, you may fully recover, because God is a miracle worker, but then your money is not recovered. And a lot of people go bankrupt and have really financial difficulties, and, and, and then experience stress that they shouldn't even experience because they just didn't have living benefits. Again, whether you get it from me or not, just check it out. You need to have, if you don't have them, you have the old and not the new life insurance. Because new, the new life insurance is for life, not only for death. Okay, second thing. Many of us are reaching that age of retirement and we can't retire because we don't have enough money to retire because we didn't plan for retirement. Some of you got your monies in 401ks. I'm telling you, listen to me. There's documented proof. There are videos on CNN and all these other places and these experts in the industry. 401ks have plummeted. They're, they're eating you up. Your, your 401k has been eaten up by fees and you don't have as much as you think. Matter of fact, you need to go call your HR department wherever you work and ask them how much are they matching. They tell you they're matching, right? But you need to make sure they're matching dollar for dollar. If you're putting a dollar in, they should be putting a dollar in. If they're not, if they're putting 50 cents in, then you need to back away and pull another 50 cents off and send it somewhere else that's a better place. And that somewhere else is called an IUL. It's an Index Universal Life. Remember Ken Lay? Man, Ken Lay has gone on and his wife is sitting pretty with $400 million. That Enron, you know, people lost all their money and they've been trying to get their money back. But guess what? That $400 million could not be touched by anybody. His wife has that money. Why? Because he had his money invested in insurance. OJ Simpson, he's locked up, but he had money in life insurance. Now, I know that sounds strange because it sounded strange to me when I first heard it because we only associate life insurance with dying, not living, and not investing, or not accumulating wealth, accumulating money. Well, it does. Back in the day, all we ever heard was whole life and you could have a cash value, but now there's something so much better and it's so much better than having a stock or uh, a mutual fund or a bond None of, that, none of that works. Plus, this money is tax-free. 
So you pay taxes while you're living, but you're not supposed to pay taxes when you retire or when you die. It's not supposed to happen. So if you got that 401k, you need to check it out. 403Bs, those of you that are teachers, you may think you're going to get Social Security, but you're not. Because you don't get Social Security. You get teacher retirement. So the TRS system that you're in, you can't get both. You don't get both. Check it out. If you don't believe me, you call somebody that you do believe and you'll find out about this. And then for those of you that have children and grandchildren, listen, you need to start putting at least $25 into an IUL for that kid. If you put $25 a month for that child, starting at age of three or the age of 10, I mean, by the time they get uh, to college, there'll be some money in there for them to go to college, maybe uh, nine, $10,000. But by the time they retire, it could possibly be 500,000, even a million dollars worth of cash available to them tax free. I'm just saying. All this is information that I'm getting. Now, this is not for those of you that are going to be getting my drip. This is not it. This is me getting some information off my chest to people that I care about. Because I don't want to hear, especially, I don't want to hear a story from anybody I have come in contact with. It's like, you don't want people to go to hell and you could have gotten them saved, right? You could have just witnessed to them and then you find out they're dead and you didn't witness to them and they're going to hell and that blood is on your hands. Well, I don't want blood on my hands. Because I don't want to hear about anybody having an incident in their lives, especially regarding these living benefits. That some tragedy happened where you had a accident, had a heart attack, had a stroke, maybe even had cancer, and lived through it. And then you were going through stressfully because of your finances. That part doesn't have to be. And let me tell you something. If you talk to another, to an agent or somebody, and they try to charge you for this, I'm not talking about extra money. You can practically pay what you're still paying and not have to pay anything extra to get these living benefits. With me, uh, you have to pay extra, of course, if you get it and you're older. Uh, I, I've had life insurance and my life insurance was $35.26 a month. That's for $100,000 worth of life insurance. Now I've got living benefits with a different company. I just got it. So I got it about three years older than when I had first got the other life insurance and it's only costing me four dollars more thirty nine dollars for the same face value amount with the living benefits I'm just saying you've heard it from me if you need to talk with me you know how to get in touch with me holler at me I'll help you but get somebody to help you alright take care gotta go back work it out bye bye